Welcome back. Once again, adventurers, to Let's Play Steins Gate Zero. In the last episode, Antara Okabe and Maho Fiyajo finally learned the uh, another piece of the puzzle concerning the connection between Stratfor and Kagurishina. Meanwhile, Daru has been successful in hacking into their network and keeping them at bay. Unfortunately, uh, things have kind of gone south at that point. Kagurishina has disappeared, and an ominous phone call, possibly from Stratfor, informing Rintaro that they have her in their possession, but they will only exchange her if he gives them Kurosu's laptop and hard drive containing her original time machine technology and theories. The same theories that were plagiarized by Nakabachi. But Rintaru has information that he didn't have before from the year 2036. He knows that Stratfor's home base of operations in Japan is right here. Tokyo Denki. In the basement, no less, right under his nose the whole time. Let us infiltrate their home territory, Metal Gear Kiyoma style. Several buildings occupied the school's kind of campus. Building 1, buildings 5 through 7, and buildings 11 through 15. That is a lot of buildings. Buildings 5, 6, 10, and 15 were scattered throughout the surrounding neighborhood, but the remainder were in their own little isolated area. Hopefully we can narrow down the search. The only two of those with basements were 11 and 15. Well, that's really narrowing it down. But, uh... It's not going to be as easy as all that, given our previous experiences. And my guess was that Stratfor's base was here, in Building 11, but we've probably got some of the others scoping out the other building just in case. It was not the only build. It was not only the building with the newest equipment, but it was a big building with 17 floors and a lot of foot traffic going in and out. I didn't know how many people Stratfor had working for them, but at least some of them had to have been out looking for me. But we're here, and not back at the lab. Which meant that this place would be less well guarded than usual, since their foot soldiers will be searching for us elsewhere. And if the plan holds, if uh, our little scheme continues to uh, play itself out, we should keep them uh, chasing their own tails, but I'm not holding my breath that that will last very long. And I had Suzaha with me too. Good to have an uh, extra defensive soldier on our side. This was doable, not impossible, doable. We have to be very sneaky. I lead Suzaha straight down the stairs. There were three elevators in the building, but Suzaha decided that taking them would be dangerous. They could potentially be trapped, not to mention... Anyone in here would know that the elevator was being used when it wasn't supposed to be. Using them will tip them off. We don't want to do that. So taking the stairs is our only option. Tedious, but necessary. The problem was what lay down below. There are over 20 rooms of varying sizes in the two-story basement. Yeah, remember how I said it wasn't going to be as easy as all that? I definitely called it. Which one of them one of them was their base? Where are they housing? 
Amadeus. Suzaha seems to have uh, picked a certain direction. Which is kind of surprising. Ah, oh, that's right. May not make sense now, but it will when I explain that Suzaha has infiltrated this place in the future. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, this building was the in the t year 2036 is the same exact ruin that we woke up in. I'm not doubting your intuition for a second, Suzaha. After all, we've uh, finally had the opportunity to see your future from your shoes, as it were. First hand. Suzaha led me down the corridors without hesitation. But still, we must be cautious. With her gun in her hand and her hips dropped low to the ground to avoid making noise as she ran, she looked just like a cat. <laughs> she stopped in front of one of the rooms and nodded to me. Looks like we found our destination. Seem no different than any of the others, and yet I can't shake the feeling of tension. But there was no nameplate on it. This was supposed to be a large generator room, as I recalled. But what if it's not? Well, even though we have a Glock 17 in our position, uh. Unfortunately, we don't have Suzaha's combat training. No. Uh. But then again... Suzaha is the only one who can rescue Kagori. From Stratfor's, uh, foot soldiers. I took the Glock out from my belt. It was heavy in my hands. Hopefully, by the way, we have, uh, left the white lab coat that is Hoin Kiyoma's trademark uh, style because that's going only going to draw attention to us. Suzo taught me how to use it but I never fired it before and wasn't sure I'd be able to. Probably not. But it would still serve as a bluff since it is a real weapon after all. Alright, time's up, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins style. And then a bunch of dragon whelps came and killed us all. No. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. After she finished the countdown, Suzaha shot off the doorknob, kicked open the door and ran into the room. She did it all in one swift movement. Well, if anyone's inside, and they didn't know we were here before, they do now. Throwing caution to the wind. I ran in after her and realized immediately that something was wrong. The first thing I noticed was the stench. It was an iron smell, strong enough to make you puke. Blood. The floor of the room was covered with blood, getting a Getting future flashbacks here. There were bodies too. Four or five of them. Of course, Suzaha hadn't done it. It was already like this when we got here. That's rather ominous. <laughs> I'm just as much in the dark as you are on this one, Rintaro. Suzo was slowly working her way forward. I followed her. Some of the bodies were Japanese, and some were American. The room continued on. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we're probably not the only ones who have infiltrated this place. A large man was lying face down next to a half-open door. And next to him was...
思ったよりも早かったわねルインタロウAnd its accent was foreign. But we know it all too well. Reyes, Kyoji. In the flesh. Yeah, wonder why you're not surprised to see us, and wonder why you're not surprised that all is death in the corridors. I believe she has her own、uh, motivations for doing what, what she's done. Now, you might think that、uh, she was collaborating with、uh, Liskanen this whole time, but we know better because she has her own goal in mind. Dr. Reyes spun around smooth, quickly and smoothly like a dancer. And there in a chair with headgear attached to her forehead is the very person we want to save. Kagari was seated behind her. Kagari! Wearing the exact same headgear as Fubuki. Kagari is unconscious. Tosa, Kagari, Kikoinoka. I don't think she can, Rintaro. There was some kind of strange mechanical device over her head. Does it look familiar? No matter how much I called out her name, she didn't move an inch. That's because she's not conscious. Ara, Sekaku Kimuchioku Nemuterundakara, Okosta and get a kawaii so you. Well, we're in a bit of a, uh, definitely in a bit of a pickle on this one. Her smile was sharp and cold. It completely lacked the warmth I'd seen when, she when we first met. That's because she had something to hide, which was this. And how would you know that, Suzaha Mane? Suzaha already had her gun drawn at Reyes. But Reyes didn't seem concerned in the slightest. Well, it's two against one, and both of us have weapons. <laughs> Tanuji had said that, come to think of it. So it seems like. Ah, Judy Reyes isn't just a scientist after all. But the group looking for Kagari was with the Western military. And he wondered if a normal spy would have taken their own life. So, what do you know, Anata? Nanimo? However, GD Rez has no idea of who Suzaha Mane is. What do you mean? Uh, Suzaha's not bluffing on this one, Dr. Reyes. If you are indeed a doctor. 
私一人を殺したところで状況は変わらないわよ。One part of a larger organization, eh? Of course, knowing what I do, she. Well, I can't really say for sure that she belongs to、uh, Strat for personally or whether she's involved with another group. Either American or otherwise. Of course, the phrase larger organization is starting to、uh, bring back Chunibyu memories of a certain organization behind everything, subtly pulling us at the strings without our knowledge or awareness. But that lies in the mania of Hoin Kiyoma. <laughs> We don't have time for that. Suza. <laughs> And yet, despite her firm resolve, Suzaha seems afraid to fire. <laughs> Because Reyes is right. Despite her own schemes, she is but a single cog in the machine, another chess piece in the grand scheme of things. Suzuha laid the gun at her feet, frustrated. After all, I've just realized we're at a huge disadvantage over the fact that we actually don't know how the machinery in this room operates. Unfortunately, Reyes does. So, there, Rintaro. 交換条件は提示したはずだけどちゃんと持ってきてくれたのいや、You were my first guess <笑> as to the person on the phone あらあらいけない子ね持ってきていないならこちらとしては C なかがりは渡せないわ Not that there was any way you would ever let us have Kagurishina, even if we did give them to you. She said Kagari was asleep, but when I looked closer, I saw that her eyelids weren't fully closed. From what little I could see of her eyes, they were empty and devoid of light. Kagari ni nani o sta? Zanen da kedo, mada nani mo ste i nai wa? 彼らが使っていた子守歌をちょっと聞かせてあげただけ。So you were exploiting her brainwashing with the magic flute, eh? でも、あなたが交換条件に応じる気がないみたいだから、これから始めてしまおうかしら。As I said just moments ago, your lack of scruple would ultimately keep you from keeping your end of the bargain. I don't trust you at all. She rubbed Kagari's cheeks with the barrel of the gun, a look of ecstasy on her face. Chris no PC to hard disk wa. Tokubets no basho ni kaku shite aru. Somewhere where you'll never get your hands on them. Kagari o watasanai nara. Kochi mo oshieru tsumori wa nai. Saki ni Kagari o kaihou shiro. Time for a little counter deal. But I don't think she's going to take it. And that sentiment is exactly why I don't trust you. Which, once again, let me just point out that you'd just do that anyway, regardless of what, whether we did what you wanted or not. It wasn't a threat or a bluff. Reyes was acting like this was an everyday conversation. With all the blood and stench around us, it somehow made it even creepier. This is what you 
簡単なことよ私の正体に気づいたから Who are you really? Do you raise Sotai? So, Kono Kanojo got it, did I show? Gunka. Those in the Kenku Shademoir. Dapa. Take them. Don't say what I did show. Well, we're about to find out just exactly what it means. Derpa, fictional, obviously. The American defend the American ultimate re um. Sorry, let me read that again. The American Defense Ultimate Research Projects Agency, created to adapt the latest scientific technology for military purposes. It reports directly to the President of the United States and the Secretary of Defense. It is staffed by around 300 people. Many of whom are non-military civilians, and since it reports directly to the Secretary of Defense, it is kept free of direct military influence. Researchers in Derpa are given wide latitude to pursue projects they find interesting. During the days of its predecessor, Erpa, it was responsible for the development of ERPANET. Which would later become the internet, as well as the global positioning system, GPS. In other words, she's an agent of the U.S. military. So she's not working for Strat for strategic focus after all. Instead, she seems to be at entirely at cross purposes. Two American black op agencies going at each other's throats for control of、uh, time machine technology and more besides. Whatever will they think of next? I could hear Maho's voice through my Bluetooth microphone. I left my phone to connect to Daru's, so we could stay in touch if we needed to. Pick up the pace, super hacker. We're running out. By time. Now. It would be impossible. But I'd asked Daru for the impossible many times before. Now it was my turn. I couldn't let her hurt Kagari. Suza had lost her weapon. It would be hard to do this by force. I just needed to keep her occupied. We need to come up with a plan. So no gun no ningen ga. Doste. There are answers we need to our questions. Motomoto, what is no shozoksu chimua? Brainwashing no kenki o stata no yo. So you're the ones responsible for Kagri. Sinno Kagri's brainwashing. So is a Kagari wa. It took kedo, Kanojo Kostano, what is she a night? Kareda you. Or maybe she wasn't responsible. Them. She must have meant the people lying on the floor. So, so, so. Why do people need to do research on the military? It's a very good question, Rintaro. There's no need to even ask. But I needed to buy time for Daru to finish his hacking. A very cliched answer, if I do say so myself. In other words, an obedient scapegoat. 
<laughs> you people never change. Betsy, and yet people still never learn their lesson as to why this kind of thing never works. Well, too bad for you, we actually have the old, our ultimate soldier standing behind us, even if she can't really do anything at the moment, given the situation. You're talking about cybernetic warfare. So this is what you're planning to use Armadeus for? The name alone made it sound like the title of a cheap sci-fi movie. But that also just made it creepier. And then you control them that way. Soldiers without any sort of free will whatsoever. I think I'm starting to see what your strategy is, Rintaro. We're buying time for Daru to finish his work by giving Judy Reyes the Hoin Kiyoma Chunibiyu treatment. Enjoy it while it lasts, Reyes. Either we're right, or you're making fun of us. Okay, we were right, surprisingly enough. If I'm being brutally honest, not really. But we're in no position to argue. I think you just made Suzuha very mad, Judy Reyes. I was worried that Suzuha might jump at her in fury, but she stayed completely calm. Rez was right next, next to Kagari. No matter how far Suzuha was, without a gun, Kagari was still in danger. If I knew Suzuha, she was watching the situation carefully and waiting for an opening. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Rez is going to give us one. いい。私たちは世界の治安を守っているの。我が軍があるからこそ世界の平和は保たれているのよ。By creating yet another dystopia. そのための戦士になれるのなら彼らだって本望のはず。You know, I'm getting deja vu flashbacks here. Didn't we try to prevent something like this from happening on the Alpha World line? It was selfish reasoning. There was no way I or anyone else could accept it. Nor should we. But... <laughs> now you're in for it. Prepare yourself, Judy Reyes. For the true nature of a real insane mad scientist, the burning phoenix that is Hoin Kioma. But that will that will have to wait until the next episode. So when we return adventurers, I hope you've grabbed your popcorn and a soft drink, preferably Dr. Pepper or a cola or something something else to tide you over. 
because you are all going to be in, a tr in for a treat. I know I certainly am. As always, adventurers, until next we meet.